And so here's the thing. Romans 13 is 100% the word of God. But notice this. The authorities that have been instilled by God, when you read that in context, it's for us to be governed by what is good. Authority has been designed by God. Think about that for a moment. But by the way, based on that premise is what Dietrich Bonhoeffer said, we're not going to obey Hitler anymore. Yeah. Because Hitler has Hitler has surrendered his God-given place of authority. Think about it. So for example, in Acts chapter 5, at some point in time, the disciples being led by the Holy Spirit said, you know what? Uh, we've got to go with God now on this. And so you guys can decide on your own to obey God rather than man. You guys can think about it. But for us, we're going to obey God. Yeah. So, so as a church in the 21st century, what is Romans 13 saying? That those authorities that are in power are there for the execution of unrighteousness. Remember, they're supposed to judge wrong. Meeting for church is not wrong. Getting together for church is not wrong. Mm. Charles Spurgeon, for example, had to weather the cholera outbreak in London. What did they do? They kept the church open and they ministered. Martin Luther was a pastor, priest, pastor, during the bubonic plague. What did he do? They ministered to the hurt and dying. The church is not essential and the church is not not essential. The church as a living, breathing organism invented by Jesus is transcendent. That's why we will be the best citizens of the community. But when someone comes in and says, in fact, check this out. You, this causes you, it causes the light to come on like this. Yeah. When somebody says, you know what? We, we don't want you to meet could you, because you could spread germs. Okay, I get that concern. God bless you. I understand. Uh, I do believe, by the way, if you're sick, you should stay home. Uh, but having said that, it's very interesting to me that they went beyond that. Did they not say, in fact, if you go to church, even when you're six feet apart and your capacity is limited to 25 or 50%, you can't sing. You're not allowed to sing. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Think of that. So I obey Romans 13 until God definitely spoke to my heart and said on, April 30, uh, on May 31st, open up. And we opened up that day. And we've been open up ever since. People are healthy. The church is growing. We had 14,000 adults here last Sunday. Uh, people are flourishing. Uh, I've got testimony from people who said suicide was negated by them coming back to worship. People walk into our sanctuary weeping with a smile. Oh, Why? Yeah. It's the only normalcy in their world today, and it's causing them to have hope. Yeah. And so I know I went a long way to answer Romans 13, but people really, especially pastors, need to understand. We are the epitome of an example to an obedient citizenry. That's who we are. But when the leading governmental powers reject their God-appointed authority and become totalitarian, then it's time for us to obey God rather than man. That's fantastic.